Hi, sweetie. Are you getting a bath? Is that nice and warm? Are we going to get a haircut today? I am doing something brand new today with my friend, Julia. Hi. I think that we need to show them our very first interaction Absolutely. ever. Absolutely. <laughs> my dog ran into my neighbor's house which Julia happened to be in yes. there and Julia she's all things dogs I'm gonna let her tell you just a little bit about yes. her I own a business called pup ball which is dog grooming products that are luxury products for pet parents we educate and just have all the tools that you need to take care of your dog at home so I was like Bonnie can I come bring my stuff next time I come up and so oh it was yeah. a match made in heaven because <laughs> I was like I am struggling so hard with I Here's what I really want to be able to do. I want to be able to maintain my dog's face and paws in between haircuts because I yes. find that when she only needs her face and paws done, I don't know how to do those. And so I'm doing haircuts. They're expensive and I have to do them way too often. Yes. And you couldn't get an appointment. That was the thing too. Bonnie's yes. like, I literally can't get into my groomer for like months. It <laughs> took us a hot minute to connect, but here we are. Ladies groomed, <laughs> but lady is ready for her tramp. And you can tell that she knows exactly what she's doing. She has a YouTube channel. She has an Instagram. So all of those things are going to go in the description below. And now we're going to get to like the fun stuff. Let's yes. go like actually so do it before we bring lady in I want you to show your bag because okay. I feel like this is like your key yeah. piece right yes okay so we sell all these products a la carte but we only just started doing that we've always just sold a kit because this is all products that every dog owner needs and so it's all just put together and it makes it even a better price that way but aside from that let me just show you what we have okay to start with this is a suction cup leash so this suctions to any smooth surface and you can keep your dog in place, our slicker brush. So this brush, we did this size. It's just perfect for getting through the coat. Personally, I love that it all comes in the bag. Like even if it yes. does come a la carte, I'm like loving the bag. This is a fine tooth comb. This is gonna be perfect for Lady because she's got this small little face and we love to remove goobers with this. I need this because L Lady has really droop, goopy eyes and I've always been nervous to use these because I don't know how. So I'm okay. excited for you to so show me. Easy, so easy, so <laughs> easy. This is our dematting comb. This is perfect to just hold in your hand and I'll show you how we just work through mats and any tangles with this to keep your dog from being matted. Every dog owner needs to own a pair of nail clippers. Follow up trimming your dog's nails with a nail grinder. So this is to smooth your dog's nails and you can take that off or leave it on but it just okay. slowly to faster. And this is, I don't know, I feel like even if you haven't used this before, it's pretty self-explanatory, but we have education to show you how to use each of these tools. The nail clippers and the nail grinders, I know that like there are so many times where I'm like, I need to do this, but it's intimidating to me. So yeah. we're gonna do it today yeah. so you can show us that it's not intimidating. It really isn't. Okay. And everything is always fixable. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You know, we'll go through it. Okay. okay. Then everyone comes with a lick mat. This is to keep your dog busy. Fun. And then this is forceps. This is if you do um, pull out your dog's ear hair or just like, I think this is just something everyone should own. Like your dog gets a tick or something like use um, this or your dog gets something stuck in their coat. Yes. You know, you can just get it out. Biggest thing we have in our kit is our shear set. So any dog owner who has a dog that um, grows hair, which is hypoallergenic, doodle, you know, whatever you want to call it, even like I said, golden retriever owners can use our shear set. Um, so it comes with everything you need, which is a straight shear, a curved shear, and a thinning shear. So you can blend. We'll go through all of those things. Metal tooth comb, every dog owner needs to have. But one thing that makes our shears really special and different is that they're short. You use these on like human Oh, hair? absolutely. Okay, because I was I like, to cut my kids I was hair. like, these look nicer than the shears I have that are professional shears for cutting hair. Yeah. I'm genuinely going to use those 
for my kids. Yep. Oh, so I I'm am excited. a hairdresser. I went to cosmetology oh, school, and that's what made me realize, or I that's what made me know what's a professional shear. I've been using professional shears my whole life, and so then when I started trying to buy like cheap ones on Amazon or just different ones. I didn't like the quality. Is that everything in the yeah. set? Yeah. Now, this portion of the video really is for me to look back on so that I can like learn how yes. awesome. and all of you guys at home will just get to benefit because you better believe I'm gonna be trying to do this on my own. I wasn't sure how this suction cup was gonna work but you just do it right here to the table. Yep, and it won't go anywhere. <gasps> so this will keep your dog from going anywhere. You obviously want to watch them, but this will keep them in place. It is I very strong. I love that. Okay, you and know? she was saying that if you do it like in the bathtub, this will suction to the side of the tub, mm -hmm. and then you can put your like lick mat on the side of the tub too. I think that it will be very distracting for a lady, and she's like sitting really good, so I don't think we'll need it right now. I'm just going through and brushing her with this metal tooth comb. Home, just making sure her face is clean and clear for trimming um, and you're brushing everything kind of down and away yeah I yeah. am um, when I cut you could you know I will likely go like this mm -hmm. um, see there we go I got a little you know just working Tangle. through yes so I recommend brushing and combing your dog every day so mm -hmm. this is this little um, fine tooth comb what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna angle it so that I just brush with the hair. One of the things I do to keep my dog's face to keep if they're pulling or moving, she's doing so good. She is so Home good. Home your lobbies. I just hold the bottom, you're just holding mm -hmm. the hair under the chin. So I'm just gonna go up and out and that will get any goobers. You can do it down as well, but for her face, and I'm just very gently doing that. And I always worry I'm gonna poke her in the eye. No, you really like. Cause she's hard. gonna close her eyes. Yes, exactly. If you can see, like I'm working right in there and she's closing her eyes. I'm not okay. digging, like right here. You'll see, like right here, I see that I'm right here. So I'm just pulling away at that okay. point. Okay, okay. Good lady. Girl. So she didn't really have too much goopers. There's a little bit in here, but just, Brush it out. And if I do it daily, it's gonna keep her looking better. Yes, Kay. exactly. I'm gonna use my slicker brush. This is little pins. So this could hurt your dog's skin. The point of your dog's hair is to protect their skin. So you, I like to just say, go on your arm, and if it's gonna hurt your arm, it could hurt your dog. So this is a gentle stroke, you can Kay. see. And so that's why I just kind of show you right here what that feels like on you. It's gonna feel the same on your dog. Okay, that's really good oh, to goodness. know because I didn't know that. Yeah, so I like to hold either hold the body or the hair to keep them in place, but their skin kind of moves. So I like to just kind of hold on to a part of their um, hair and brush. So we really wanna make sure we are getting down to the root mm -hmm. and getting to the skin because that's where matting occurs and knots and tangles. If you do run into a mat, we haven't so far, but I'm gonna show you. We're gonna use this dematting tool. Now this, you're going to lay right against the skin and just pull up. I'm gonna start with my curved shears. Okay. This way we can get, I'm basically going to move the hair this way, this way. I can use my little comb to brush the hair out. I want to move anything out of the way that I don't want to trim. Okay. So, quick baby, we want to clear out this area. So I'm just gonna take my shear. Oh, good girl. And I'm oh, you're starting right by the eyes, yep. okay. So I'm just getting those, the, um, Hair that is getting those um, goobers. goobers and the tear stains. Okay. We're gonna trim out the tear stains. Okay. And then basically, it's been a month or so since she got groomed. This is, you know, we're just resorting back to what your groomer did following those guidelines. So right here, I wanna trim, there you go. So I'm just going really soft and slow and trimming it. I really like to just clean out for a you know, little short face like this. And the way her hair grows, we wanna clean out this inner area. We're, there's different cuts depending on your breed of dog. So now I'm just pulling this hair. Now, a little forward. Yeah. And now I'm going to take my thinning shears. 
<laughs> and I'm just gonna go in. I don't wanna take her, you know, I'm kind of just moving her bangs back. I wanna get what's right in between here. And this is going to clear out her eyes. So I just go snip, snip, snip. And then this is called tip cutting. So I wanna make sure her skin, I'm definitely not cutting, mm -hmm. but that's by just using these little combs. There we go. Good girl. Okay, so tip cutting is cutting into the hair. You're gonna wanna go both ways. That's gonna be your best way of blending the hair. Okay. And I'm needing to be careful to not Get cut. the hair on yep, the, the nose. Yep, on the top and the front. Okay, so really you're just kind of working on eyebrows and tear ducts. Yes, right now, I'm just actually like right now, I'm just doing right in the middle of the face. Well, I meant you, you know, doing a brow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so not cutting right here. And I'm just going to blunt cut, snip into this area. Kind of the uni area, mm -hmm. right? Okay, yeah. all right, all right. I'm just making sure yeah. I understand. Okay, so now we see more hair right here and mm -hmm. here. So I'm gonna take our thinning shears again, or <laughs> curved shears, okay. yep. And I'm just going to, honestly, you're gonna follow the curve. I don't even have to move it, and it just naturally. Oh my word. So you could go you top or so bottom. <laughs> you could go from the top or the bottom. Hmm. Okay, see how that looks Good, already? Maybe. Like so clear and clean through there. Yes. And I can keep going and trimming more. I just, <clears throat> you you can't take off more or you can't go back, right? But you can always cut more. <laughs> yeah. So like we're slowly doing a little bit, especially since I'm teaching Bonnie and showing Bonnie, this would be my recommendation for anybody. So I'm just kind of resting those against her face. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> in between the eyes, we're not going directly to a triangle. What do you think of going? We're going basically in the shape of a triangle, but not to a tip. Okay. Okay, so getting right, we just okay. wanna clear out, you know, so if it was on my face, it would be. Yes. This is the direction you want your shears to cut on both sides. Perfect. And it kind of meets right up in that middle yes. uni so area where yes. we were cutting. Okay. Yes. Okay, go this in. is good for me to know. We've got in the middle of the eyes, so I'm just gonna pull the eyes I call these the eyebrows forward. Yeah, that's just grown out or uneven. We just want to create a visor. So I'm not really getting much of this eyebrows, more just the bangs. Okay. So I'm gonna, you know. This is so good for me to know because I'm like, I have no idea. Now we don't want this to just be straight. Mm -hmm. It's gonna look choppy and not very cute. So I'm just straightening it a little bit more so mm -hmm. it's even. And then you're gonna go through with your thinning shears yes. and go right over those same spots. You're just gonna do a couple snips and that's gonna give a much more like balanced and even look. So And kind of blended. Yep, exactly. Oh, yes. Cute. So you could, Yay. if you want, Bonnie and I are discussing like whether she wants her hair longer on top or shorter. If you wanted to go shorter, you would just Use your hands, your fingers, to hold that up. So see how it's shorter right there? Mm -hmm. And we just keep cutting that. Going around. So I like the idea, even not going shorter, but just to blend it, mm -hmm. use your blending, sh your thinning shears. Perfect. From the front. And then I'm just going to, again, brush this forward. And I can kind of naturally do this without holding it. Mm -hmm. Get spots. Yeah. I cannot wait to do this myself. <laughs> I am You're gonna so, do so excited. Okay, then some groomers, there's kind of two philosophies here with the top of the head to let it blend into the ears. You can keep it short and then the ears basically, see how that's like long mm -hmm. and this is short? Mm -hmm. You can either continue that, you know, round the head or you can let this hair grow into the ears. Oh, but since I see. That's what you're I kind of like them separate. Okay, so then what we've done here, I would like to shorten that a little bit. Okay. Um, just as hair grows. And I'm just going to use my thinning shears. And see how it's, it's a pretty uh -huh. forgiving thinning shear. Yeah. There's still, um, it's not taking off nearly 50% of the hair. So that's why you've got to do it a couple times. If you really want to get a straight line, you just snip it a bunch of times and that would be straight. Okay. 
So, hi, niece. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through and just kind of round the top of her head. So we're gonna shape the face. So we're gonna start from back here where we've set a length. And I wanna just cut off kind of like that, um, why can't I think, like the jaw, <laughs> the corner of the jaw. We wanna trim up under the ears and just go straight down. We want to round the face. So you're gonna continue to use your comb as you go to just kind of fluff out what you've missed. So I'm just moving that. See, I can tell I want more cut off right here. So I'm just creating a strong jaw basically under here. Poor girl. I'm gonna do this, see how cute that is? How it yes, I love face. that. I think it makes her look younger. Yes, and then if you wanted, it would be really easy to use your curved shears here as well her face, you know, just like, that's actually like a perfect fit. Yeah. So you can just let that, and it's gonna naturally snip that hair. So we never wanna direct the shears towards the neck. We always wanna do it away from the neck. Okay. Since we know this fits so perfect for her face, I'm gonna go down my curve. I like to cut the hair right here under the ear. See how again, we're just creating that jawline. I love it. We just want to create this beautiful, round, little puppy face. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay, so now we've done that top part. I'm going to brush. And I feel like they always leave this part too long. Oh, okay, you like it shorter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's work on that. Let's make sure it's what you want. Um, I'm gonna actually just snip. So. When you're doing the back of, or when you're doing the neck, remember we always want to go this direction, but we want to flip flop. We want to go sideways and forward so that we can get an even shape. But we're mm -hmm. gonna now let's set this line. So I'm gonna, I see how I'm just holding mm -hmm. her muzzle closed, and I'm just doing a little bit at a time. So I really just want this to be round. That's gonna be the cutest thing we can do. We can be more of an oval, um, but rounding it is going to give your dog that finished groomed look. I'm so proud of her for being so good. No. You're being such a good girl. Are. Good okay. girl. And just be very careful keeping her still and making sure we really shape this right. And if you get like right here, I can see it's a little higher. Mm -hmm. I can, I'm gonna keep doing this. I can trim it or if you're a little bit worried, you could use your thinning shear. I think her face looks really good. It's just the we mustache her. around yes. her. her muzzle. Yeah, her, okay. oh, okay, muzzle. So I'm gonna, well, it's, I feel like muzzle is both. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to bring that in. Mm -hmm. How does that look? Is that Yeah, I like that better. Maybe a little bit more, and I'll use my thinning shear right there. You are so good at this. I love it. We've brushed her out and combed her out. Just another little fluff. You can do this two different ways. You can lift up their foot, check where the nails are, her feet, and round. Just up, or you can put their little feet down. And do it while they're standing. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm just going to angle. Oh, I see. So I kind of like to do a mix of both. Mm -hmm. This is going to get the hair off of the ground that's gonna get cut. Okay. Or not get cut, that's gonna get dirty. <laughs> Her little nails in my way. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, and then the paw. We wanna trim up under paw. You can use clippers or you can use shears for this. But just trimming off that hair that could possibly get yuckies or gum. You know, we've mm -hmm. all been there where our dogs get something stuck in their paw hair. I think her I like tail it. is so long. It is really long. <laughs> I like long tails, but okay. this is extra long. Okay, so yeah. you're okay with an inch coming off. Yes, I that's definitely I, am. Or even more, like, yes. look at how it is. Like, we could cut this part <laughs> shorter. Yes. Okay. I want so, you to do what you think would be okay. nice, okay. and then I'll follow suit. Okay, I'm gonna start here, and we're just, oh, perfect. We're just gonna blend <laughs> from here. <laughs> go shorter to longer because okay. a long curly tail is so cute we may still want this to be long or shorter but let's just start right there and see how it looks when she lifts it 
Do you? <laughs> no, <he's not. laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? So still we could cut more. <laughs> so cute. I think I would cut it a little more. Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> you little tail wag. What do you think? Yes, that is good. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I cute. love it, so sweetie. Cute. Okay, so we that did her awesome. eyes. We did her feet. <laughs> we did <laughs> We did just a little bit around the ears. And then her tail. Oh, Lady, yeah. you're a new woman. Yeah. It's her. So we finished up with Julia and she left. And before she left, she did tell me, she said, I would love to offer your followers a discount code if they're, I'm out of breath because I just ran upstairs to get my camera. Um, she offered a discount code for 10% off if you guys are interested in her, any of her products. So you can get either, like she said, the full package or just a la carte. Um, I ran upstairs to show you. Lady, she's exhausted. I tried taking a picture with her and all she wanted to do was sit. She's the laziest dog and this is where she wanted to stay. I was like, lady, please come take a picture with me and she just didn't want to because, you know, hashtag tired. So I will put all of Julia's information along with the discount code in the description below. I seriously had the best afternoon hanging out with her and don't be surprised if you see more of her because I was like, hmm, I think we should be friends. <laughs> all right, we'll let Lady have a little bit of quiet time. I will close our vlog here. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys. Do you try to do a certain background or anything? No. Hi, good morning. <laughs> don't mind no, me. Don't, don't.